This is an update, September 1st, 2020, on the sulfur reactor, a little bit of a fish tank. And we're gonna dive into the reactor now. So I've taken out the bio pellet reactor. Now I just have my Purigen reactor. I have modified just a little bit since my original video on that. You gotta mainly keep a lower flow so that the majority of it doesn't go up there. See, there's a lot more media in there. So that's now three liters, roughly three liters of sulfur, about two thirds sulfur and filled it, the rest up with the calcium carbonate, um, that media. And um, being that it's uh, putting out a lot of uh, acid, I guess, I gotta I put on a dosing pump of the soda ash from BRS, made a little dosing container. I don't know, this jar is almost empty. I don't know if I'll replace it. I mainly had that for the bio reactor, bio pellet reactor, but uh, I'll probably just let that ride. There's the dosing pump now. I still have the little container. I've made a much larger hole to suck in more because that filter got a little clogged and decreased the flow. I have since shut that off and just allowed it to uh, kind of just run. It still runs on its own. I have it wide open now. I never did get zero uh, sulfur even with the slow drip. I found I got some more gas. Right now there's a little bit of whether it's gas. I'm not sure. I also wonder if the water's flowing through it all the way or if it gets clogged in certain spots. Um, but I just have it wide open and um, it's roughly about 25 parts per million I think of the uh, nitrates. I haven't checked the, the tank itself to see what the tank is at, to see if it matches. I've just been checking that to see what the effluent, if the effluent was going down. And it was very slowly going down, but it's been, I don't know how long it's been. Today's September 1st, 2020, um, well over a month, two months. Um, nothing happened very fast. It seems to be a very slow process. Again, I do have three eels, which there's a lot of, uh, I won't say I super feed the uh, fish, but the amount that I feed the eels certainly would contribute. Um, but I'll test it right now and show you. I'm gonna just harvest a little bit of that effluent there. My little cup, kind of put it under there. Catch it. Get a little bit in the cup. Only need one cc for that test. Got a little bit in there, all right. A little makeshift table. Here we go. Again, all you need is one cc. That's what we're all using to test. Put it in there. All right, more drops. One, two, three, four. Got that. Spoonful of the other reagent there. Give it a little spin. Last time I did this, I'd say it was 25. You know, between the 25 and the 50 is a little hard to tell, but if I had to guess, I'd say it's in the 25 range. So you can see is a little bit of purple there. So let's take the camera. I'm just gonna lay it right by the I think the shadowing here, let's do this. Got my flashlight here a little bit too. No, that doesn't help. Oh, now it's getting darker. That's really not. You know, it looks kind of like that.
There you go. That looks even more like that. Now I'll test the tank. Again, just a CC. All right. Put that in there. All right, let me grab the reagents. Is everything ready? We have four drops. One, two, three, four. And we'll spin that around. Let's see. Give it a chance to react. In that 50 range? About, about the same. When you put it on there, it looks a little dark. There you go. It's the same as the what's coming out of the reactor. I can't say that I'm doing anything wrong. You know, I wish they were like a whole lot less. There's nothing else I could do now except do, I guess, tons of water changes. But I'm going to keep watching it and see what happens to the value. I just shook it to release some of the extra built-up air that's in the cavity there. You know, it's all recirculating so the air goes through. But it's not air. But, um... The only thing it could be is that hydrogen sulfide gas. But I don't have any rotten egg smell. I can't imagine it... Of what else it would be. But... I'm new to the sulfur reactors. Um, I wish I had some answers about like what I'm doing wrong, if I am doing anything wrong. Um, I know the nitrates are really high in the tank. Um, I do a water change um, maybe once every three months. Um, but um, I wish there was a more definitive answer. People have luck in the first week, two weeks, it ha things happen fast reason I didn't just continue to go real slow is I also found that the air would come up if there wasn't enough going in, which would mean the bacteria starve producing the gas. So that's why I opened it up. But whether you drip it slow or drip it fast, eventually the bacteria should be able to compensate and consume your sulfur. It didn't make sense to start off slow. Um, which I did, but it didn't make much sense to start off. So anyway, that's an update. And then just a update with the filter on, just so you could see how the tank is doing.